and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the brand new Saturday Legends now. As of now, there are two confirmed new Legends, and they're pretty crazy, not going to lie. I really do like both of them. Now, the one thing I'm not sure about yet is will there be an LTD Legend, which by the title, you guys probably already know, but obviously, I do my intros before I start the videos. Now, the only thing I can think of is that the NFL Top 100 players were considered the LTDs. So they're, not, they're not LTDs, actually. They're just regular cards, but I wonder if that replaced the LTD cards, is what I'm trying to say. So, I don't really know yet. They have not announced anything on it yet, which they usually do by now. Now, guys, I want to just apologize for last night not having the video out for you guys. I mean, hopefully, you saw it from someone else, I guess, at this point, but... I did do it this morning. I was out. I had plans with family and friends, and I had no idea they dropped that at 9 p.m. If I had I would have known, I would have got back home. But by the time it was, I was already too late. I was eating. I was at dinner. I was eating already. So, kind of screwed me. Sorry for all that. Hopefully, you guys watched the new one that I posted this morning, and we could do what we can from there. But at least we know now. Hopefully, it's not a weekly thing at 9 p.m. I hope it's like maybe 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. at a much more reasonable time than late at night. Yeah, it's better for everyone personally. But guys. Before we get into this legend video, we go over all their stats and everything that has to do with this video. Make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. You guys have been killing it lately. We're halfway to 13k subs, and we just hit 12k, so that's pretty crazy. Make sure to comment down below what you think of these two or three legends, depending. And make sure to smash that like button. Can we get 200 likes on our 1030 video? We finally broke 100 on 1030 video last week. Can we get to 200 likes in this 1030 video? That's a new record to set for a 1030. And guys, that's about it. So as far as these legends go. I did want to pick one of them up, but as you guys can see by my coin stack, I spent quite a amount, quite a bit, quite a bit of coins yesterday. I'm very broke right now. I'm gonna need to find a way to get some coins because I'm gonna be broke for the Blitz promo if I don't do so. Definitely need these coins to get some videos for you guys. So I mean, obviously you guys can expect a lineup update coming up pretty soon, as I did spend like 2.5 million coins yesterday, and now it's kind of upsetting because I can't pick up one of these legends. But I gotta make do with that. Now, guys, quick little tip. When you guys do go to the store, if you guys want to buy Legend Fantasy Packs today, I always like to reiterate this to you for all you guys who don't know. There's going to be a 8 Fantasy Bundle and a 5 Fantasy Bundle of Legend Packs. Now, the 8 Fantasy Bundle actually costs more than buying two 5 Fantasy Bundles. So, essentially, you can get two 5 Fantasy Bundles like these over here. It's like the same thing right here, the same pricing as the NFL Top 100. Two Fantasy Bundles here will actually cost less and then the eight bundle so you get two extra packs by buying the five bundle you just don't get the topper so it comes down to would you rather have the 86 plus legend topper or would you rather have an extra two fantasy packs i always like to get that out there so you guys know pretty much what you're paying for if you guys do go that pack route on the legend saturdays and the market's a lot like really down today so i don't really know how much these all will sell for but obviously time will tell now let's head over to twitter and check out the stats of these cards so guys i know you guys do want to see the daily riddle i'm not going to make a separate video and i'm going to post it right into this legend video hopefully somewhere early in the beginning before we go over the legends so Guys, I did just get the riddle. It's honestly not that hard. I went on pro football focus again, and honestly, not as hard as I thought to figure it out. I'm going to switch over to the display capture real quick to show you guys the uh, the riddle stats and everything real quick. All right, so the riddles are the Cowboys won by 12, and clearly, as you can see on the date of the game, the Cowboys lost by 10. B is Randy Moss caught three passes for 163 yards and all of our touchdowns. You go down to scoring, and you can clearly see... Randy Moss had 163 yards, three catches, and three touchdowns, so that is true, so you have to catch. So B is right, and then C is Randall Cunningham had over a 20-yard per pass average. Randall Cunningham had 359 yards. You divide that by 17, you get 21.1 yards per pass, so that is true. So, so far, B and C are true, and Troy Aikman threw less than 20 passes. Troy Aikman definitely threw 57 passes, so that is entirely false. Now, let's go back over to the Madden screen real quick. All right, taking off the face cam so you guys can see it. The Cowboys, 1 by 12 is false. Randy Moss called three passes. B is true. Ronald Cunningham went over a 20 yard per pass average. C is true. And D, that Troy Aikman through less than 20 passes is false. So when the game starts in the third quarter, you will have 10 minutes. You're going to have to pretty much come out on offense, throw bombs. You don't want to throw short passes because you need a 20 yard per pass average. If you get below that, which pretty much means you need 20 yards or plus on every pass you throw. Obviously, if one's a 60 yard pass and one's a 10, it's not going to kill you because you average that out. But make sure you just need three. You need to catch three passes for three touchdowns and over 163 yards essentially and the requirement is pass for three touchdowns so you have to pass for three touchdowns automatically and you got to catch over 163 yards and you need to have a 20 yard per pass average so make sure you get that all done i think it can extend past the third quarter so don't worry if you don't get that done in the same quarter but that is about it guys so hopefully you have that ready let's get back to the rest of the legends starting off with the first card we got darnell dockett defensive tackle for the arizona cardinals 93 overall he has the bull rush looking archetype obviously it can be powered up now 
as far as the defensive tackle goes, I know it's not the flash, flashiest position, but his stats are pretty crazy. He's six foot four, 75 speed, 80 excel. That is perfect for a defensive tackle. Like that's great athleticism, especially because they're the closest to the quarterback being right lined up with them right there. They don't exactly need the best speed to get there. It's going to be a very quick um, distance for them. He's got 91 strength, which is great. 89 tackles, amazing. 90 play racks, amazing. 91 block shots, amazing. And 91 power move and 79 finesse move. Powered up and chemmed up. He will have an amazing pass rush, amazing runs, run stuffing, amazing play rec, amazing tackle, amazing strength, pretty good athleticism. I think this card's pretty awesome. Now, I think he actually might be the best defensive tackle in the game. He's definitely right up there with Henderson and obviously John Randall. But I think that Donald Dockett might be the best of the three because he has everything you want. Athleticism, pass rushing, and run stuffing, which is huge. Because if you can get a pass rush from the middle defensive tackle position like the nose tackle, that's huge. Because typically if they go one-on-one -on -one and if you have a good um, pass rusher at that spot, they make a great impact considering how close they are to the quarterback. And the quarterback gets interior pressure, you have to scramble outside. If the outside linebacker is already squeezing in, they get sacked. If see, when they come from one side to the outside, they just scramble to the opposite side. When they come up the middle, it's a little more confusing, especially because they're right in front of your face. You're going to have to run backwards a little bit too. Could force a sack, could disrupt the play. Definitely really, really important. He's on the Cardinals though, so I don't know how many theme teams this will impact. I don't even know how great a Cardinals theme team could be this year. Probably not the greatest considering I don't think they've dropped that many players in the Cardinals. I could be wrong. But I think I'm more excited for this even the second guy, even more so. I think there's some stipulations for why he might not be as great as we, he should be. But obviously, with the way my coin stack is looking, it looks like it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to pick up one of these guys. But we can still dream and we can still enjoy. So let's get it over to the next guy. So the next guy we got is Randall Cunningham. We got the next great mobile quarterback in Madden 20. He's got the archetype, the little running shoe thing. Guy, he could be powered up, obviously. He's 6'4". So he's even bigger than Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson looked pretty big to begin with. Now, I'll go over the issues with, with Cunningham that concerns me. Because you know how this Madden 20 is based on thresholds. Madden's been based on thresholds for a few years now. So if they if, if the same players can't hit the same thresholds in similar spots, are they really better than, than each other? If you get what I'm saying. So I'm going to stack them up against Lamar Jackson. Because Lamar Jackson for me is like the mobile quarterback you compare Cunningham to, right? With the speed and the passing. So he's got 88 speed, 93 excel. I mean, 83 speed, 93 throw power. 88 throw accuracy short, 83 throw accuracy mid, 80, 92 throw accuracy deep, 88 throw under pressure, 92 throw on the run, and 87 play action. Now, if you look at these stats, just like Lamar, he's really fast. He has a lot more throw power, which actually is the reason I want him. And his shorts better, which can get to threshold. His mediums similar, they both can't get to threshold, or above 90, I should say. And throw accuracy deep is above 90 for him too. So he can throw short above 90, powered up and chemmed up. He can throw deep above 90. He can have a throw power above 90, which will chemmed up and everything. He's gonna have like a 96 throw power. He's going to be crazy. This card's gonna be a great passer. Now, what I've been wanting for my mobile quarterback though, is dashing dead eye, which apparently he's not able to get is throw under pressure above a 90 stock with powered up, which I believe is the, the threshold for that. And his medium accuracy. Now, again, if I'm comparing to Lamar, if we're just looking stock, just him versus Lamar, he's definitely an upgrade over Lamar. Slightly less speed, but the throw power is huge. Lamar is the one guy you can't do timing routes with. Like, if you want to time routes, like, you have to throw extremely early because if you throw, if you, if you even throw the slightest bit, you can't even throw the normal timing route. You have to throw earlier than a timing route because his throw power is so, so soft. He literally throws, like, little softballs everywhere. Now, I love my Lamar, but he definitely limits my passing game and to what routes I can actually do and run. Now, Randall Cunningham will not. Powered up in camp because he's going to have like a 96 throw power, if not more. He's going to have the speed. He's going to have the short accuracy and the deep accuracy, which I was not able to throw the deep ball to save my life with Lamar Jackson. Now, the only issue with Cunningham is that I did want dashing Deadeye. So, at this point, I don't know if I should wait. I might wait for Blitz first and see if they release like a Mahomes with Escape Artist and Dashing Deadeye. If that all comes out together, then I think that'll be the best quarterback in the game. But for now, I think the best quarterback is definitely Andrew. At the top three are probably Andrew Luck, Steve Young, and Randall Cunningham. As an overall package, it's probably Andrew Luck. As the athletic guy, it's probably Randall Cunningham. And as Steve Young, I think he's like Andrew Luck V2. He can do a little bit of everything just like Luck, while still not being as good as Luck, but he's definitely close. So Luck, Cunningham, and Steve, yeah, Young, Cunningham, Luck are probably the best ones. I think I'm going to wait to Blitz. I definitely want this Cunningham, but I'm kind of broke right now, and I don't really know how I can justify spending my last bit of coins on a quarterback that with powered up I'm not gonna have enough coins for although this card this card does look really awesome and i'm 
definitely contemplating it. It just all really depends on how this goes. All right, guys, so that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Come join the family, boys. We're halfway to 13K. Let's see how quickly we can get there. You guys have been killing it. Let's keep growing this channel all the way through this, all the way through the new year, and then set our goals for next year. But for now, our goal is to get to like 15, 16K by the end of Christmas. So let's see if we can do that. If you guys are new, if you're old, you're current, you're an OG, always make sure to smash that like button. Let's see if we can get 200 likes on a 10:30 content video. Let's see if we can break that record. And let me know what you think of all these legends. Let me know your opinions on them. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.